inside every disc are a series of cylinders. We're talking thousands of cylinders. Think of a cylinder as something like this, a container. And there's thousands of them that sit almost on a flat surface. And when the flat surface spins, they can pull this up into memory and they can read it. That's the first thing I want you to see. Take a look at this picture. This is a disc and inside that disc is a cylinder. Inside that cylinder will be the data blocks. And as you can see here, we can see a bunch of different colored rows. I've colored the rows in the block for you. But also notice at the bottom is the row reference array. It's going to have the starting position of every row. Notice I've color coded that for you. The last thing in the row reference array points to the first row in the block. Once that's in memory, that's how they find things. Go to the row reference array, boom, here's the starting position of row one, starting position of row two. That's what I need you to see right now. Every row on every amp has been hashed by the primary index value. And in the end, it's delivered a row ID. There are eight bytes minimum in front of every row. The row hash, four bytes, or 32 bits. The uniqueness value, four bytes, or 32 bits. And that is in front of every row, as you can see here. In front of that is the starting position row length. And that's how the row reference array works. They can go to the row reference array and they go, oh, here's the starting position of the row. And then here's the row length. And here's the row ID. And then there's the row. That's what I need you to understand at this point. Every amp always has in its memory its master index. What's the master index do? It tells the amp what cylinder a particular table and data block is. As you can see here, we've got the master index at the top. All the colors of the table are there to guide you. And you can see down below, once the amp sees its master index, it knows on its disk exactly which cylinder it needs to read to retrieve that information. Now take a look at this. In our first cylinder, we've got our blue table. In the second cylinder, we've got a bigger red table. Notice cylinder three. We've got two blocks of the order table. And in cylinder four, we've got two more blocks of the order table. And that's because it has split many times. So as you can see here, you will have all of these cylinders. The cylinders will contain one or more tables inside of them. but the amp always knows exactly where they're located because it looks at its master index in memory and it can go get the information very quickly.